Obama named as deadliest president in U.S. history after FBI releases his horrific secret. Ever since Trump got into office, Obama has been doing everything in his power to sabotage Trump's presidency with his little shadow government. Not satisfied with peacefully riding his golf cart into the sunset, Obama has been behind the scenes planning his political comeback where he's been popping up all over D.C. to hold fundraisers and international events. But just as Obama was getting ready for his big power move on Trump, the FBI has just released their annual summary for 2016, and what they've discovered about Obama is a devastating blow to not only his legacy, but to any future political plans he might have had for this country. Each year, the FBI releases their annual summary known as the Law Enforcement Officers Killed and Assaulted Report. On Monday, the report for 2016 was finalized with the findings being sent to Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The report revealed that the Obama administration was the deadliest in history as there was a 61 percent increase in murders targeting law enforcement, thanks to Barack Obama continually putting a target on the backs of our police with his race-baiting antics and vocal support for the terror group Black Lives Matter. The Black Sphere reported. Monday. The FBI finalized their annual summary known as the Law Enforcement Officers Killed and Assaulted Report. As Sessions put it, the 61 percent increase in murders targeting law enforcement is both shocking and unacceptable. Of course, we knew Obama's administration painted police as the enemy. Now it's indisputable. Breitbart breaks down the numbers even further. The feloniously killed category is a narrow one. 62 of those 66 officers died of gunshot wounds, with the last four dying after being hit by motor vehicles. The 66 officers feloniously killed in the line of duty in 2016 is the highest single year figure since 1997. The single most common category of officer slain in the largest increase recorded was the 17 ambush type premeditated killings in 2016 a 142 percent increase over the seven such attacks in 2015. Breitbart News has reported extensively on these attacks, the most egregious of which left five Dallas, Texas, policemen dead after a black nationalist opened fire at a July 2016 Black Lives Matter rally. An additional 52 officers died in accidents while on duty, for a total of 118 line-of-duty deaths a 37 percent increase over 2015. The number of assaults on officers also increased significantly in 2016, with over 57,000 recorded nationwide. This figure represents a 14 percent increase over 2015 and a rate of more than 150 a day and nearly one assault for every 10 police officers in the country. These devastating deaths on our police officers are directly due to Obama who encouraged his thugs to go to war with all those who serve and protect. How many times did we witness Obama making incendiary remarks while sending his race-baiting minions to hotbeds like Ferguson to drum up the racial discontent and hatred even further? Obama spent eight years stoking the flames of a racial divide that for the most part had been relegated to the 60s. Seeing the potential for leftist profiteering, both politically and financially, Obama encouraged hatred, particularly against law enforcement, the Black Sphere reported. The bright side is that President Trump is turning things around for our nation's police. Breitbart continued. Attorney General Sessions was confident President Trump's law and order agenda could bring the increase, which occurred under the previous administration, under control. Our law enforcement deserves the support of the people they serve. Fortunately we have a president who understands this, he said. President Trump ran for office as a law and order candidate, now he is governing as a law and order president. Within days of taking office, President Trump made it clear that he stood on the side of America's police with the first executive order that he put into motion. In his first order, he declared that his administration would serve to enhance the protection and safety of federal, state, tribal, and local law enforcement officers, and thereby all Americans. Within just the first 10 months that Trump has been in office, he has delivered on the promise to support our law enforcement and enhance their ability to do their jobs. So far, police deaths have already decreased by 20 percent, but the official numbers won't be released until sometime next year. 
It's wonderful to finally have a president in office who supports law and order and has the backs of our brave men and women who daily defend that thin blue line that keeps our society from falling into complete chaos. As for Obama, he has another feather to add to his legacy cap with the embarrassing statistic from the FBI that his administration was the deadliest in U.S. history. history.